Hello, and welcome to the Piney News Update for July 20th, 2016. I'm doing an update because we have a number of things to talk about uh, regarding the Long Island Railroad, regarding a bunch of other things you'll hear more about in August's Piney News. Um, first thing I want to talk about, and we're here in the Pine Barrens, we're doing the Piney News in here in the Pine Barrens today. Uh, Southampton Town has now made an offer to buy the Quag Sandhills. Uh, that's right, the Sandhills area in Quag. Uh, they are now making an offer to buy that land for preservation. So they're finally doing that. We don't know if the developer is going to accept that offer or not, uh, but I I have to say the new leadership in the town of Southampton, now that Anna Throne Holst is, is not running that, that, that town anymore, unfortunately, uh, she, you know, she's now running for Congress. And hopefully she won't win. You know, you know. Let's let's hopefully Lee Zeldin gets reelected. But uh, Jay Schneiderman is really uh, doing a lot more to help the environment and preserve the Quag Sandhills, which is in the Pine Barrens. It's a very important area, not only for uh, the aquifer, and it's also important for the uh, bay. And it's just it's an area that's really just you know the I mean, development there is completely inappropriate. So uh, the other thing, of course, is Epcal. Uh, studies are nearing completion, uh, and I think the town is going to vote on it. The Riverhead town is going to vote on that really soon. And the thing is that uh, right now we're going to we'll go over the plan that the, the final plan that they released in August preserves a lot more land. But I'm still have some unanswered questions uh, as far as uh, uh, what is at risk. Uh, but we'll go over that more in August. Uh, Let's get to the Long Island Railroad, which has had a very bad week. Uh, Monday, uh, there was a work train derailment uh, that screwed up the uh, morning rush hour. Uh, and uh, it was very screwed up. A lot of trains canceled, a lot of big delays, major problems, um, uh, and cancellations, of course. Uh, and so what they wound up doing that morning uh, was they wound up canceling three Ronkonkoma trains. Now, we all know how crowded the Ronkonkoma line is. Uh, where do they get off canceling three Ronkonkoma trains? Uh, three. Three Ronkonkoma trains, yeah. Believe it or not, that's right. Three. They canceled three of them for the morning rush on Monday. Crazy. That is insane. All right, uh... You know, uh, the crowding was really crazy. I mean, absolutely insane. Uh, and they canceled three Babylon trains and two Huntington trains and two Long Beach trains that morning. Uh, I don't know why they didn't divert more trains to Atlantic. It seems like they'd rather just cancel the trains than send them to Atlantic. At least get people to Jamaica where they have an option for the subway. But no, they didn't even do that. And they left them, you know, they left, they basically, uh, you know, why, and they, why do they only cancel three Babylon trains? If they had to cancel three Ron Conquer trains, they shouldn't have had to cancel any Ron Conquer trains. I'd rather see three more Babylon trains canceled because the Babylon branch, as we know, has the most service. So they should have the most cancellations, and they also have the least crowded trains of all the major branches. And so it was very interesting. I was actually uh, looking through the, their Twitter and the complaints um, for the Babylon branch that morning. Uh, the Babylon branch is full of complainers, whiners, spoiled brats, real estate people, Wall Street, finance execs, white collars, trash. And so they, of all the uh, lines, they always complain the most. So I actually counted all the complaints on Twitter Monday morning about the problems. And 14, 14 complaints came from the Babylon branch. Only five from the Ronkonkoma branch. Remember, the Ronkonkoma branch got screwed royally. All right. Five came from the Huntington, one came from the Far Rockaway, two came from the Hempstead, two came from the Long Beach, and two came from the Port Washington. So you actually put a little pie chart together, you see it all there. Uh, look at all the complaints. Meanwhile, let's look at a pie chart of all the cancellations. Yeah, let's let, you know what I mean? That, that's what I mean right there. So they, they got off easy and they still complain. They're spoiled rats on that branch. You know, and you know, they are some of the most obnoxious, stuck up, preppy, rich, annoying people you'll ever meet. I'm gonna say it because it's true. I say what I think just like Trump says what he thinks. 
alright? I see it all the time when I ride that branch. Luckily, I'm not riding that branch today. We're here in the Pine Barrens, and we're very far away from all those problems. Um, so, we also had a, a, a work train derail on Sunday in Jamaica, which caused half the tracks to be closed, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, so, all the eastbound trains had to use tracks 4 and 5, so that was pretty nuts, too. Um, so, that you have that going on. So delays averaging 16 minutes system-wide due to an earlier service suspension caused by a signal problem in Jamaica and an unauthorized person on the tracks that was struck by a train east of Queens Village. major thing that nobody is talking about in the media. The Long Island Railroad left people stranded over the weekend when there was a, an emergency track work resulting in service being shut down on the Ronkonka branch east of Farmingdale. The thing said there would be buses. Well, there were no buses. People were left stranded in Farmingdale at the mercy of price gouging taxes. Take a look at this. And this is the Long Island Railroad's Twitter feed. Uh, for uh, late Friday night to Saturday morning, uh, and there was basically emergency track work uh, east of Farmingdale, and they said that there was be, would be bus service provided uh, if you look at these things. Uh, um, but unfortunately, uh, as you'll see coming up, there was no bus service provided. Okay, so check this out. Uh, this is uh, from the Twitter, basically, unbeknownst to me. Uh, there was an incident on the railroad, obviously, uh, there was an incident on, I think it was July 16th, so that would be, that would be yet, uh, Saturday night, uh, and, uh, basically service was suspended due to emergency construction east of Ronkonkoma, and they said there would be shuttle buses, so this person here posted, basically, that they were left stranded in Farmingdale with no shuttle bus. And I'm just going to click on the link here because it'll give a little more here. Uh, I'm going to read this whole post to you. Uh, I would like to compliment you on your amazing quality transportation and fabulous customer service. Having my ride to Ronkonkma actually stop in Farmingdale was such an unexpected surprise. Thank you for adding some spice into my normally dull train experience. The 500 or so people who were stuck with me at the station were also pleased with the entire experience, having no... LIRR employees to guide us, to guide, and, and and some silly person might say control us, and no buses, no buses, no buses. Well, that just allowed us to witness a few punches be thrown and many obscene comments being hurled. After just an hour or so, I was quite excited to see the police. Angry, semi-violent mob at the train station at 2 a.m., Never thought I'd get that off my bucket list. One wonderful thing I learned about myself last night is when sitting between two total strangers in a nasty van taxi that is flying around the corners tossing people about, I have excellent muscle control and only leaned on the disgusting, sweaty man next to me once. So thank you, L.A.R. I want my $40 cab fare and three hours of my life back. Yeah, they provided no alternative transportation. Left people at the mercy of taxis and... That lady just got ripped off, and uh, she should get her money back for sure. So that's what this was about here. And then they say, we are totally disappointed and apologize. Well, 
Let's see, we can put that back up on the screen again. I'm trying to drag this down. It says, we're very disappointed and deeply apologize for the trouble. We have shared your concerns with the appropriate personnel. And she wasn't the only one that wrote something about it. Here's this one, too. LRR people fighting to get on buses and take us to Ron Conkama from Farmingdale. And there was another one here. All a bunch of complaints about the same issue. LIRR isn't running to Ron Conkama, so they said they'd have shuttles to take us home. Except the shuttles aren't here, so we're stranded, okay? So, yeah, uh, this is, uh, they've left people stranded. They've left people stranded. Yeah, so that's that's something the media ain't telling you, right? That's something the media isn't telling you at all. Stranding people there with no buses. None. Uh, that's crazy. It seems like they're taking a page from Nice Bus lately. And ever since Andrew Cuomo took charge and Noah Kowski took charge, this is happening a lot now where they're not calling enough shuttle buses. I mean, you're having problems. Get these buses out of the city, man. Most of the express bus fleet in New York sits idle on the weekends. What is the big deal about getting these buses out to Long Island? Don't people on Long Island pay enough high fares to the MTA to at least have them do that? I think that's bullshit. I complain about, I call the MTA when they, when, when they screw up, and they really did screw up. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, the only other good thing, the good news I have about the Long Island Railroad is that they're they're looking at restoring year-round service on the Greenport branch and that that's something we need to do all right because North Fork's busy a lot of major destinations over there I don't know why they haven't done it sooner but uh, I'm glad to see that they're doing that uh, and uh, just to talk about how obnoxious people are on the Babylon branch uh, this is how obnoxious they are like like somebody I know who lives in Long Beach uh, sometimes drives to the Merrick Station because the service is better. Long Beach Branch kind of stinks. All right, so basically, he parks in Merrick, and the people in Merrick are so obnoxious they somehow know he comes from Long Beach because basically everybody is basically when they take the train, everybody has their like seats on the train, and they're mad at this guy because he's taking a space in their parking lot and going using their train, and so they actually put a note on his car one day saying. You don't belong, you don't, shouldn't be parking here. And they put a Long Beach branch schedule on the window. Unbelievable. That's how obnoxious these people are. They are just assholes. And they are ruining Long Island. They really are ruining Long Island because they're taking over all the good areas. And uh, what are we stuck with? You know, so in coming up later this month, we're also going to talk about um, NICE and their unrealistic schedules. I have some schedules. They have some mistakes in the schedules. And they also have... I also was able to find some, uh, over the years I found some driver paddles left on the bus. We're going to go over that and tell you how unrealistic. They don't give these guys enough time. They're, it, is, it is a mess over there. It is a mess. And this is how nice cuts corners because they don't give enough time. They don't want to, they, instead of having enough buses, they stretch the buses too thin. And uh, they literally, like, there's some runs where you have no recovery time. It's impossible to be on time. You know, meanwhile, MTA in the city allows plenty of recovery time. And then Nice yells at the bus drivers for speeding. What else are they supposed to do to try to stay on time? That's bullshit. So, you have Nice uh, having that. And then you have all the breakdowns, of course. All those breakdowns uh, that keep occurring due to the bad maintenance. Uh, and uh, I, think, I don't know if I told you this, but uh, last week I was on a bus that was overheating. And, uh, and what happened was uh, it was overheating and... Uh, the driver, you know, he didn't want to have to wait, you know, get another bus. So what he did, he turned off the air conditioner, he turned off the bus, lifted the engine cover up. A couple minutes, he, we were on our way again with the engine cover up, and he just drove around with the engine cover up. So, they, and it stayed cool, it didn't didn't overheat again. So, hey, that's 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 one on on orthodox solution right there, um, you know, uh, and uh, you know that's the thing. And of course, we talked also about. Uh, the new uh, racism there, uh, Westbury, basically, end of the town's being singled out. And a classic example of this happened a couple of days ago. One of these illegal, dr illegal aliens driving right down Post Avenue, drunk. Nobody in the car notices anything. He's got a kid in the car. Uh, this is the kind of crap they bring into my town. This is the kind of crap they bring into other towns on Long Island. 
and uh, this is why Long Island, they really do want to force the poor and the middle class off Long Island. They want Long Island to only be a place for the rich and the illegals they hire. And they want to make the lives of the poor miserable. That's why they're taking away our bus service. That's why they're putting illegals in our towns. That's why uh, we're being forgotten in, in, in places like Westbury. While the nicer towns are, get full of these rich people and they won't let people like me and other people who don't have money move in there. How fucked up is that? So that's why we're leaving. That's why the option is, you know, people tell me, you really shouldn't be on Long Island anymore. Why don't you live in New Jersey? Why don't, well, that's where we are today. Uh, but the reason is simple. Long Island is my home. I care deeply about it. And I'm not going to let these Wall Street people come in and steal my home. I'm not going to let them steal my home. I'm not going to let these illegals come and steal my home. Long Island is my home. I love Long Island with all my heart. All right? I'm not, I, I, it's something worth fighting for for me. I'm not just going to walk away. Anyway, keep you updated on some of these stories and stay tuned for August's Pointing News as well as the uh, schedules, which we're going to go over nice and hopefully before the end of this month. Hopefully, you're getting out and enjoying this nice weather. Take it easy.